Hello Internet! Last time we built this observer editor window, which is just a really basic uh, Unity editor window. And so it's got this location that we can modify, so we can stick in a Y or a Z of 10 or whatever. And it's got this button for committing. So if we click it, it just quit, uh, sends an OK message. Uh, I have it set to stack errors, which is why this incremented to 2 instead of a new message popping up. But you can see that goes up anyway. Uh, we're going to be taking this a little bit further, so I'm actually going to be kind of moving a little bit towards what I want this tool to do, which isn't this. <laughs> so I do want this bit, but I don't care about the button anymore. Uh, and I'll kind of walk you through where I'm going with this. First thing I want is a field uh, that is going to be the, the observed name. And so this is going to be an editor GUI layout dot uh, text field, which will just be a single line text box. And we'll just call this our name. I don't know if I want labels for this. Uh, and I kind of want this as compact as possible for what, for what I'm kind of going for. So we'll see where this ends up. But this should be fine. Uh, and then observed name there cool we don't have an observed name so let's create that private string that's all right there we go and we'll just set it to an empty string and so the idea here is you edit you enter a a name of something so uh main camera it would take the location and set it here so you'd actually see the position of the main camera here and then you could just modify that so it just effectively allows you to easily identify an object and then modify the values of that object in real time without having to go and actually select the object and then do all of that jazz uh, there's more to it than that but that's where we're going with this video is I want to be able to enter the name ma main camera find an object in all of my active game objects by name and then attach the position as the location which means this location can go away we're not going to use that anymore instead I want to do a found object is that's not right <laughs> let's do a game object nullable type I may have forgotten how to do nullables in C sharp. That's not good. Huh. Okay. Wait, I don't need to do that. Why would I need to do that? It's a class. It can be nullable anyway. Okay. Ignore that entire uh, brain going insane thing. We're just going to move on. <laughs> so find is going to pull an object out of our scene that has a name you can't find objects in the uh, by other you, or you can find objects by other things but if you want to use name this is what you have to use uh, and it's going to return the first object it finds of that name which is fine for this uh, but if you want multiple objects you have to either use tags or some other thing uh, some of those are going to be like resources dot find objects of type game object that will get all active and inactive game objects in your scene uh, game object dot find by find with tag uh, game objects of type etc are gonna do similar things so you just have to kind of figure out what you're doing and then build from there we just need one though so this will work uh, so if we have one if our found object then we need to modify it. So this is actually, or should be relatively straightforward. Found object dot transform dot position equals this. So all we're doing is instead of using a location, we're actually passing in the position of the found object we have. So if I give it a name that exists, we're good. Otherwise, let's show a warning because why not? <laughs> Warning is going to be, I don't actually know how to do this, so gui layout dot 
box. Help box. Enter the name of an object to observe. Sure. There we go. That's not right. I'm missing something. Message type. Uh, so the message type is going to be either error, info, none, or warning. Uh, and that's going to change the styling of it. So if I do an error, it's actually going to show up as an error, hopefully. Uh, we have main camera already selected. And you can already see it's working because this is already there. And I should be able to move the main camera like that. Which means all of our actual cool stuff is doing what it's supposed to do. It's being cool. <laughs> and so, if I delete that, we get this red thing that says, hey, enter name of an object to observe. This exclamation mark is because it's an error. Uh, if I go and switch this to, say, warn, it's going to show up as a yellow warning. And if I change it to info, it's going to be another different warning. For this, I think we want just a warning, so this should be fine. And that's pretty much it. So if I type in, say, directional light, there we go. And now I can modify my directional light. You can kind of see it moving there. So this is the next step in sort of what I have envisioned. It's not super, super advanced. But it doesn't need to be. It's kind of, I mean, this part isn't particularly useful. There's other ways to do this, but uh, I don't know. We're moving in the right direction. And so I'll leave this here. It's sort of all I wanted to get done here. And I'm kind of trying to keep these short so I can just kind of push a bunch of them out at the same time. And you guys can either skip parts that are covering what you already know or not. <laughs> so that that's sort of what I'm hoping to accomplish here. Whether it works or not, I'm not sure yet. You're going to have to let me know. Uh, so definitely leave a comment if this is a style that is working or if you prefer something else, then we can definitely we can tune things. But that's it for this video. So until next time, see you, Internet.